Well, what I'm doing now is cleaning out that uh, let me get this mask off. Sound like Darth Vader. But no, no, what I'm doing now is I'm uh, cleaning out this area here. Let's see if it'll focus. Cleaning out this area here so as to I can put some some steel in there or some resin. But that seam sealer, that stuff, I guess I'm gonna have to burn it out. Cause the dude say this is how you get it out is to burn it out because right now it is it's coming out but it's leaving a big sticky residue behind. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get that off, get that clean. I have some sand, blast it out, blast it clean. That sand to get up in there and take it out. Alright, I'm gonna keep continuing to do this. As I continue to do this, the main goal is to get this back part here clean, the back part, so I can put some resin on it. And also to try and fix this up with either some lead or some resin. Can't mow, I can't um, weld that, that's, gonna, that's, gonna, that's not gonna work. <coughs> Although I do have the parts, so I might be able to just cut that part out, then put the other part in there. I might be able to do that, so that's a lot of work, but you know, you wanna do it right. My friend Pete says, but the main thing that I want to do is I don't want no more water rusting through there. So I said what I was going to do was I was going to put some classic industries rust stuff on there and then some resin. Then um, be done with it. That includes on the back here. Clean it off pretty decent, but the main thing I wrote in this video. What's up, y'all? This is Ken uh, Quasar 1975 Bird. I don't know if it's a resto mod or just get the thing looking decent. Project. So, what that is, is so I just want to check in with you guys that these small things will cause havoc when you're moving forward and take time out of your day trying to get this stuff off. Thank you, General Motors. Y'all did a good job, though. It did not stop this rust, though, but it did slow it down. All right. I'll talk to y'all later.